السلام علیکم و رحمت اللہ شیخ علیکم السلام و رحمت اللہ و برکاتہ My question is regarding the hadith where it says that if someone has wronged his brother a part of his good deeds will be given to their one wrong and he will receive the wronged words bad deeds so does this also apply to non-muslims because if somebody if like for example somebody has wronged a non-muslim like way in the past and it will do more harm and then you know good actually reaching out for forgiveness and the fact that the non-believers believers are already doomed for hell so uh yeah what like uh, what, what about the non-believers do they also apply in this category or it's, it's just muslim brothers that you know we will get their bad deeds first of all muslims and non-muslims alike <clears throat> it is prohibited to transgress or oppress or to do them wrong and if you do Islam tells us that you have to seek their forgiveness in this life but for both Muslims and non-Muslims if doing so would cause greater harm in this case no don't do that don't go and apologize or seek forgiveness because there would be greater harm so what to do you have to ask Allah for forgiveness repent and show remorse now in the case that Allah did not accept your repentance or your remorse wasn't sincere enough Muslims will take from your good deeds whatever is equivalent to your transgression and oppression and if you ran out out of good deeds then you will take from their own sins and accumulate it upon you and then you will be thrown in hell the non-Muslims don't get this privilege because they can't take from your good sins it's not gonna do them any good they're bound to hell either way but on the day of judgment because of your oppression and your wrongdoing to the non-Muslims you will pay and you will be forced to give some of your good deeds in compensation but not to them it will be erased and gone according to your wrongdoing and Allah knows best.